Welcome to Live Action Star Wars bonus episode, Emergency Podcast. My name is James. I'm Ralph. And it's my birthday today, everybody. Happy birthday. I'm, I am here. I have cake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what you wish for? I, I, I wish for. I know what I wished for. I wished for some Star Wars movies to be announced today. And yeah. it came that true. Happened. It happened. Um. If it were my I, birthday, yeah, I would wish that they follow through with their announcements. I mean, your wish would be more sensible with mine. I am the <laughs> the the just throw it out there, throw enough shit at a wall and see what sticks. Hopefully, these three happen. That I think that's all we can sort of say about these at this point. Like, we we are optimistic people. Uh, like. Ralph and I, as as a, a podcasting duo, we are optimistic. We like to find the good in everything, but it's been it's been a few years of getting announcements about movies. So now, even even today, this morning when I was watching, I was I was watching on my I was following uh, Alex and Molly. Star was explained. I was following their Twitter thread because they were in the room today for the panel this morning at it was 11 a.m local time for us in the uk for you ralph i think that was about three or four in the morning so you were you were sound asleep i know that there was a few people uh, because i was following along and there was a few people stateside who were staying up late and braving it and just ready for the announcements and everything um staying up or waking up early i yeah I, i i wouldn't have been i wouldn't have been doing it um clearly i'm not a celebration i'm still at home today <laughs> right. uh as if you've been following the show you know that i'm going to be there sunday monday um but it was kind of nice because i it, the whole lottery system of getting into the room even into the like the side rooms that they're streaming it to was a lottery system so if you didn't get mm-hmm. into one of those i'm just like oh fuck, what's the point of being there today like i saw the crowds it looked packed today i'm sure it'd be packed yeah. tomorrow and I'm sure it'll still be packed on Sunday and Monday, but like might have chilled out a little bit. And I'm not a hardcore collector anymore. I'm not going to be there for those two panels, which is like the, this one today, the Lucasfilm showcase panel and the Ahsoka panel tomorrow. I wasn't bothered about getting into the big panels for Sunday or Monday. So I was like, I can just go and enjoy myself. And I can go and have fun. I can show up whenever I show up can see the people that I want to see. I can hang out with the guys from Star Wars Minute and George Lucas Talk Show and um, uh, Rick Demin and my friend Jeff Stevens uh, and like a bunch of people that I don't get to see in person ever because they're like, they're stateside. So it's it's a, it's a hard task to see them. So I'm super excited for that side of celebration. But I really, really enjoyed today following the Twitter thread uh, I was following it as it was coming out, all the news and the announcements and then trailer and stuff like that that we're going to talk about in a little bit. And then we, me and Liz, it's the first like nice spring day that we've had in this country today. <laughs> we're like, it's my birthday. I want to go do something that I enjoy doing. So we went for a nice paddleboard and Liz drove and the whole drive down there, we were just like, I was, I was on Twitter and then I'm just going, oh shit, they just said air to the empire. And I was like, oh, yeah. okay cool what 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 does that mean explain it to me and so i would stop i'd stop reading the thread explain all the stuff that we we all know just intrinsically by being hardcore star wars fans and then i jump back into the thread and go holy fuck they've just announced the movie with ray as the lead set 15 years after make it happen though make make it it happen happen. make it happen um I love it. I love that they've got directors in place. The directors were on stage. They've got Ray, like Daisy Ridley was there on stage. And it's like, I I don't know what it is, but this time round, having them all there, not just saying names, not it being yeah. streamed, it being an in-person, in the room. Like 
the Dave Dave Filoni's movie. That's a guarantee. I don't think anyone is questioning yeah. that that movie's going to happen. That's that's happening. Yeah, he's he, got his cast already. We all know that, who the cast is. Yeah, exactly. we're good. They're, they're all lit. That that's a no brainer. That that's the sort of movie that they could drop straight on Disney Plus as well. I, like I, 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 mean, I, I want, want it to be the theater. But, I want yeah. it. Be, I want it to be theatrical, but. If the first movie, whatever that first movie comes out, and it doesn't perform well in theaters, and they decide to go, you know what, fuck it, let's just drop this on Disney Plus. It's pl- tying into all the Disney Plus shows. Let's do it as a Disney Plus feature. Fine, because it feels like it's a culmination feature. I still want it to be in in the theaters and stuff like that. Um, the what's what was the other one? The the twenty five thousand years ago, um, Dawn of the Jedi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of it, they've given it. The, they're given the era a new logo, which is the Luke's like with well, the the um the the little pond in at the Luke's temple and Acto. So I guess they're going back to Skellig Michael to f- film at that temple. I would Maybe. assume it will look nice and new and shiny. Um, it won't be run down and beaten down. Um, that'd be nice to see. Um, and then we got the heir to the Empire. That that no, Air to the Empire is essentially it's going to be that's that's uh, Dave's movie. And then we got the right. New Jedi Order um, with with Daisy Ridley. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, super, super, super exciting. I mean, are they going to call it Episode Ten? Big question. Is it? I mean, is it the Skywalker saga now that Ray is the last and only surviving Skywalker? And that's a chosen name, not a birth given name. It's I I am. I feel like, like yes. Let's do let's do episode ten. Let's just okay. call it the Skywalker saga. Like Skywalker could be anything. Mm-hmm. It's the ripples of Luke Skywalker and Anakin Skywalker. And it is galaxy. it is the next film. At least the next film yeah. featuring our core cast. Our core cast has changed. Our core cast has changed like, a couple of times now, but. She is our core yeah. cast. So Skywalker Legacy, just have it keep going. Yeah, it I'm would it would it. it would definitely like back up her choosing the name. It would it would by by dropping an, an episode number in there. It would it would give yeah. it that that cadence. Yeah, it would give it that like yeah. Um, <laughs> they've they've been hesitant on numbers all the way through. Like it, a seven wasn't promoted as seven. It was promoted as the force right. awakens so whether they do or they don't i don't think it matters as much but i think i for... mean i want to be i want to be in the theater i want disney just um, be like you know uh, what we're gonna put up the fox logo because we own fox um i want give the us Lucas the fanfare. logo doesn't even follow by yeah. and and again like i mean I, I know there's a ticking clock here but like Let's get this thing made and get John Williams because John Williams said he's the only person that that wants to score. I think, yeah, Ray, the character Ray. He doesn't want anybody else to score Ray. So like, and that theme is perfect. Like Ray's theme is so 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 perfect. A piece of music. Yeah. The theme um, would be in there, no matter who of course, did the score. Of course, the theme's going to be there. But like, I I only want new interpretations of it by John. Like it's like, yeah. And there is a ticking clock. It's sad to say, like we don't. Yeah. None of us ever want to admit it, but like, dude's old. He's had a fucking hell of a career, and uh, eventually we all we all die. <laughs> but like, he doesn't owe anybody favors. But no. like, and if he said if if they decided to do it, and he was like, I don't, I, I'm not going to give it to someone else, then none of us can ever begrudge him for it. But like, right? Yeah, yeah. I didn't even think about the John Williams of it. Yeah. Wow. What um, if it is an episode ten, I think if you put a number on it, you've got to at least give him yeah, the first yeah. right of refusal, right? Like you got oh, to give 100%. him the you got to give him the option to come back if he wants to. It's got to be on him. And I th- yeah. I have I feel the same way about bringing uh, John Boyega and Finn back. I think you you give him the option. You you if he said if he wants to come back because we know how he feels about things and how everything played out, but if he wants to come back they've they promise him the world that like look you're going to get a substantial role we're not going to do you dirty it's been 15 years since the rise of skywalker you, we don't need to see your training you're a fucking jedi you mm-hmm. you are you are trained you are it's you and yeah. ray 
raise the master you're like the second in command whatever it is like you're the liaison to pose running the new new republic republic 3.0 whatever <laughs> you want to call it like um like chancellor dameron we can have reference to i don't i don't know whatever um and poe is their liaison it doesn't need to be a big role if it does if he doesn't want to do a big role but it'll be enough of a role that it's something for him if he wants to <laughs> and I, yeah. I feel like and if if he doesn't they can write around that he doesn't need to be there if he doesn't want to come back but if he does and i hope he does and i hope that the fact that daisy's there and their their relationship never seemed to be in question they always seem super tight and like really really good friends um i would like to hope so that excited. i'm so excited yeah, yeah. i saw I uh, when as the news were, as the news was coming out and we got the dave dave announcement i was like cool it's it's to be expected you're going to sum it up essentially it feels like they are doing air to the empire through a and the second book, I can't remember the name of the second book in that trilogy, um, and is as part of it. And then the last command, from Dark Force the, Rising, Dark, Dark Force, Force Rising, no. got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. No, no, nailed it. Uh, so if you do like Air to the Empire, Dark Force Rising is series, last command. and then Last Command as the movie, Dave's movie, and that's the culmination of all of this shit. It's all come together. It's been what I've been saying for a couple of years Into now. The first order not yeah and into it like roll into the first order but like i've been i've not to toot my own horn but i've been saying like th these series all these disney plus series set in the new republic era are tweaks and reworkings of the throne trilogy like it's there you've got instead of you don't have Cal uh, talent cards you've got boba fett in the talent card role you've got the mandalorians you've got the katana fleet equivalent as essentially the pergil i guess of the katana fleet like all of that shit um we're gonna yeah. get to the ahsoka trailer we haven't we're gonna done get it to yet. it we haven't done it yet i've i've just been going on it if it's, if you it's can't exciting tell, like if drinking. it sticks it's my birthday i've been drinking. If, if this sticks is definitely more exciting than i mean i really want to see rogue squadron fuck yes but, and taika's and taika's movie i want to see but we had no information on it like but let's let's do this it's day one of four, Let's guys. Like it's this. day one of four, and I was saying this earlier. It's like get some announcements out the way so that people's expectations are like, boom, we've done it, bang. Let's go and enjoy the rest of the weekend. If yeah. they drop some shit, if they drop some like, hey, yeah, Tiger's still going. Tiger's coming like next year. Yeah. If they if they said that like tomorrow during the Ahsoka panel or something or during some behind the scenes panel, can you imagine? Because no one's expecting it. That's a big moment then for the rest yeah. of the show. And it drums yeah. up excitement for everyone watching on live streams. Yeah. <laughs> While you fire that up, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this into the thing, and uh, I, we're gonna go through shot by shot. I think this is usually how we do it. Strap in. It usually takes a while. Um, I've recorded two other podcasts today, but this is my only responsibility for the rest of the day. I've had so... like four margaritas, a couple of rum and cokes. <laughs> I'm 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 and, good to go. And you are. You were about 45 minutes away from it being tomorrow, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. exactly that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's go through this. I, go. I don't have my, I, I lent my Thrawn trilogy books to a friend and never got them back, but I do have the Dark Horse. Uh, they released the, the comics yeah. in, in, a, in trilogy, but it's the same hardcover dimensions as the original books. It's oh, I, amazing. I that's it's, great. It's the, I've never read the room, comic but... adaptions of it. Uh, I love. I think I I'm going to read it. Yeah. I, so when I when I went on holiday, I was trying to find. I literally the morning that we were leaving, I was up in my loft and I found a bunch of my old Star Wars books, and I found the Thrawn duology, like the ones that came after, just before the New Jedi Order started, like the Hand of Thrawn two books, and I never read them. I've still never read those two books. I've read the original trilogy like the original throne trilogy a bunch right. of times my my paperback copy of air to the empire is signed by timothy zan i met him at uh celebration three um i know that they're up there somewhere and when i find them i'm going to reread them uh because they're really fucking good yeah, i've only read them uh, once i only read them once wow was yeah, it was I it around the time like around 1901 oh, yeah. like wow yeah. shit oh yeah, man dude, i was I was, I was I was I was fourteen years old in ninety one. Yeah. And 
the fact that there was new Star Wars for the first time in like I don't know eight or nine years. It's like fuck yeah, dude. I was. About, I don't care if it's a book. Like that's uh, how excited I was for Star Wars. I, I was like three five books. or six. I was five or six. I definitely was too young to them for them. My mum bought the first one for my brother. My brother's at the time, especially, was basically illiterate, so he was just like, "Hey, I got a few pages in," and he just never read it. Um, yeah. He's your age, um, so he never really read it. But then they were always just there on my shelf, and I was like, "That's a big book. That's a big book for." five six seven year old james but they were always there and i'd skim read and i'd read little bits and bobs and i and knew had the basic on the front <laughs> yeah oh yeah, yeah yeah um and i i knew the basic plot of it and then i think when i was about eight or nine i read them and they were like the first big grown-up quote-unquote grown-up books that i read and it took me probably goddamn a year or something to read that first book but Oh my god, I love it, and it sticks with me. And there's so much of that book that just sticks with me so, so, so much. Hot chocolate. Luke, Luke loves hot chocolate, and thanks to Lando, Lando create like invented hot chocolate. Love it. Yeah. Um, let's go. Let's watch this trailer. I'm gonna eat some cake. <laughs> it's like you, I'm jealous. This is that a spice cake, a carrot cake? No, no, no. This is a, a salted caramel cake that Liz made. She, she's a oh, really great. Sh- she's a really great baker. Liz, send me some. She might be watching. She she's in the other room. She's probably watching this. <laughs> okay. She's too scared to comment though. So everyone, everyone, heckle Liz in the comments and tell her to comment. I texted, thank you so much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah. Stevie wants cake too. She just, I'm gonna remove right. this real quick. All right. If oh oh so, shit oh that's beautiful. and it's the, the spine. The spine yeah. is within the same. It's like the same dimensions, and it's all. Uh, who did the art? Uh, I don't even Is it know. Cam Kennedy. Cam Kennedy did the uh, like the dark for the dark force rise. Not dark force. Um, dark Empire. That's dark it Empire from the novels. Mm-hmm. Um, um, it just has the color or the cover illustration. Dave Dorman. Yeah. Um, series editors, collector editor, assistant editor, collection designer. Come on, where are we at? It's a fucking comic book. How do you not have the artist like right there? Like, what the hell? I have no idea. Uh, Man, there's probably different artists. Man. Um, Oliver Oliver Vateen and Fred oh. Blanchard. Okay. So they're probably different for each one. Uh, yeah. But I mean, this. I mean. Fucking dope, dude. Princess Leia pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Jaina and Jason. Lando. I mean, if you can find this, Stevie got this for me. It was like 35 bucks when it came out. Probably. Holy shit. It's a 2008. 2008 this came out. I think it's been re-released. I know that Marvel have done like a bunch of omnibuses of like this going through all of the old Dark Horse stuff in their Legends banner. But the fact that they put it in the same yeah. size and dimensions and copied I've, the the spine is amazing. I've got like a the legacy Star Wars legacy the the Cade Skywalker stuff that uh, Jan Dersma and uh, John Ostrander did. They did three nice hardbacks of the that entire series. In do the illustrations look great? Dark Horse knew like, how to package their Star Wars. Luke like, Skywalker looks like Luke Skywalker. Everybody yeah. looks great. Like I, I like, I I read uh, Dark Empire and I like the story and stuff, and I appreciate what Cam Kennedy was doing with the art in ninety one, ninety two, that sort of time. It's super weird, super cool, super different, and I like it as an art book. But I, it's, I, I still find it a bit of a struggle to read. Whereas flicking through that, just seeing yours there, it's gorgeous. And yeah. Dark Horse knew what oh, they were wow. doing. They knew what they this were is doing. This terrific. Yeah, so I'm going to read this instead of rereading the novels. I'm going to look for that. Um, if I can see that at the show Sunday or Monday, I'm buying that exact copy. It's great. It, it, I need to, I, I might just have to repurchase the Thrawn trilogy in hardback because I had the first two in hardback and the last one I had paperback. Oh, wow. And they just, they just, they, they're so uniform. Mm-hmm. It's so, it's amazing. Mm-hmm. There's no bouncing right. ones. Let's do it. So Dartherian says it, it uh, it hits the major beats of the novels, but does skip over some stuff. It's comic uh, connection. As, as a non-reader, <laughs> I think I'm fine with that. Perfect. That's yeah, truncated version. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. 
and I'm going to turn it down just a little bit so we don't get dinged. I don't yeah, think yeah. we'll get dinged. We'll probably talk over it as well. It's, yeah. it's available for everyone to watch, though, so go watch it. <clears throat> right, and I put it in the show links down below. Mm -hmm. But, uh... Oh, man, dude. Something's coming. I... Thrawn's coming, right? Like, yeah, Something. this is a Jedi Temple. Looks like it. This shot. It's just... She's just showing off, right? I sense it. Right. Love it. It's a very specific spot to do that. You think she would mm. do that in the middle in of the, the circle, circle. Yeah, but yeah, just yeah. below. Yep. It's like leaving that. So it's almost sacred. like it's intended to do that. Don't wanna don't wanna desecrate the the thing. But the not not holding my lightsabers and doing a twirl. I'm just gonna yeah, throw them in. Using the force. Like, she's the baller. She's the not a Jedi. Ball. She's not a Jedi. She's just a fucking yeah. badass. Yeah, she's like standing over to do that. Very Indiana Jones, like tomb raiding. I like the red Lucasfilm logo. Looks, Looks real good. good. Looks real, real good. This is a new... Okay. Nice cat. <laughs> Sabine. Sabine's helmet. Sabine with long hair as well. Like last time we saw right. her at the end of Rebel, she had the cropped little bob. So this isn't exactly it, that. They might just change things, but who cares? It could be because she's hasn't put on the helmet in years. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe the way she's out. looking at the way she's looking at it, it looks like she hasn't put it on in years. I feel like if she goes back into service, it's gonna be like Mulan, like cutting her hair in the classic thing and then putting the interesting. So it's not a, it's not the most exciting uh, speculation. But also, theory, like that but, shot, that but, shot looks so samurai as well, doesn't it? Where like her kneeling yeah. in front of the, it's like the equivalent of her sword is her helmet. Like it's Baloney's doing the show, right? I, I we mean, saw yeah. the Ahsoka with his cowboy. Hat I don't think I don't know if he's necessarily trip. show running, but like I'd be shocked if he's not. It's it's they they, they had a a Rebels animated sequel show already in production. There are there are there is produced episodes of that show or at least scenes from an animated mm. series that was cancelled because they were doing this. So it's like they they. I want to say it was Dave that had the yeah yeah. He, I mean, this shot looks straight out of his episode of, of Mandalorian with Ahsoka. Yeah. Very, totally. very samurai Kurosawa. George. This is a new beginning. Life cap. Looks great. Looks so much better than it did in uh, Mando. In Mando. In, yeah, we've seen, we've seen one a couple of times. And and I think, did we see one in Obi-Wan as well? Um, Maybe. There was, there was one in Sanctuary, the, the Bryce, the first Bryce episode of yeah. mando and then i think right. there was might have been one in obi-wan as well you, you think this is a puppet this is something the beginning oh, it might be yeah it might well be she cool. looks great she lo like she looks like sabine but perfect but like grown up like not not right. just an animated version she looks grown up but you can tell it's sabine she's got the hair yeah it's like it's the color scheme as well like the the orange and the red like that's she changed her hair a bunch. That was our whole thing with Sabine in the show. She was she was always changing her hair. She's she's great, but that's Sabine. Like, there's no question, and that is she's already like got it. But also wearing yeah. one of these these dope ass New Republic jackets that we've seen yeah. since Episode Seven. They're great, and I might drop some dollar and get one. <laughs> yeah. See, that's the thing is like you're done collecting, but you could always use a jacket. And it's a, if it's a good looking jacket that's like sort of subtle enough that I can get away with it in everyday life, then hell yeah, I'll get a jacket. Yeah. Let's see what they got. So some. <clears throat> so she that's when she comes out, right? Because yeah, she's back. Probably gonna be out. Whatever she's in, getting. In a shot, like I think immediate the shot immediately before that we see her, there's a hole. Oh, there's there. the hole. There you go. There's the hole. So this is as she comes out. She right. goes in, sees what she needs to see down there. She comes out. These are droids. A droid? Yeah, they are. That droids, elbow is a droid elbow, unless they're mods. But these are droids. No, look at the knees. They're, they're droids. I mean, they're droids. Unless they're Robocops and they're it's just only, using the it's, brain. The, it's only the jaw is the only thing that's making it look like a person. But I guess that might just be from the, the green screen that was shot. But. but this dude has a blaster. Oh, yeah. And has opted for one of the um, electric like stuff like, from. Yeah. yeah. Vibro. Yeah, Grievous's guards. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Praetorian guards. No, Grievous is guards. Right? Mm. Grievous did the, the IG, have... the IG one hundreds or whatever yeah. they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did the Praetorians have this kind of stuff too? 
don't know, but I'm hearing some stuff about Praetorians that has already been shown this today that we should be seeing next week. Oh. Yeah. What would but we be? haven't seen it yet. Oh, Mando. Yeah. Oh, are they hanging out with Thrawn? Oh, man, what's happening? We have two more Dude, episodes of... <laughs> it's really annoying because now there are people that are reading spoilers that have because Mando 7 has been shown tonight already. Oh. I don't know. I've, I've, been, I've been checking Disney Plus, but they showed it at the show uh, like the last thing today. Um, okay. So like people who are spoiler averse, just avoid we're the internet. Yeah, we're fucked. Yeah. Um, I've seen a few things because I my my whole thing is like execution over reveal. But we're mm. not going to talk about it. I, I I know a few things that happen at the beginning of the episode, not not the rest of the episode. I just know a few things that happen in like the first seven you don't minutes. Need to show the episode. Why if you're not going to put this? it out. If they're not going to put it out, like the Obi Wan thing was fine when they put out Obi Wan early at the show yeah. and then it dropped it on Disney Plus, yeah. and that's why I was I was I've been scouring, I've been checking every global release. Hour. Come on, okay. Well, I guess I'll just not be on. Yeah, yeah. At least the Star Wars, at least our account. I I think people are generally pretty cool about dropping spoilers, but, be. but but yeah, rude if not. Yeah. But yeah, basically, I like these color schemes. They look like they look like Mandalorians almost. Uh, no, that's the thing. Like, who are they working for? Yeah, I don't know. I've no idea. Whoa. It, they feel like those guys feel like bad guys that you'd face in like one of the video games, like Jedi Fallen Order, Jedi Survivor. Right. Like, they feel like a secondary bad guy. Whereas this is the Phantom Two. This is yeah. Like that is we saw how they the rebel crew got that ship. That is mm -hmm. the the exact former like separatist shuttle that the rebels crew yeah. stole and plugged into the ghost. And what then they, clearly trying to get this thing that big round thing, whatever it is, being hauled away by another carrier. Like a lifter, yeah. Looks like a maybe yeah. a big engine or something. Oh my god, dude! It's there, and then that, and then there's Hera. Yeah, yeah. She's flying it. She's flying. She's yeah. flying the Phantom Two. Let's see. Let's see her face. Okay, so it's... I like me. <laughs> I really like Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Me too. She's um, great, and she and... looks cool. And it, I mean, look at that jacket. I mean, they nailed it. That, that the collar, everything about it, like, yeah, she looks great. There's Chop, yeah, but... Chopper, which I need to, I need to take ah. a look at. Okay, so we discussed this on our Literally regular last week, this past week, mm -hmm. two days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the dimensions of Chopper, mm -hmm. uh, looking like a cartoon version, and he kind of does, mm -hmm. but it looks pretty good. Yeah. It doesn't look like the cheap one they made for like the Star Wars show or for like like it looks like a new they built a new droid. We need to see him uh, rolling around to get the the proper dimensions and stuff. But like yeah. from there from from what we see there with the arms coming out of the head and everything and obviously the 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 voice the the beeps that he has it's is the same beeps. It's full that's full chopper like this is not Obi-Wan this is not R2D2 this is chopper. Like this isn't Yeah. But my my question immediately here, before we even move on, is at this point in time, we know that Jason Sandula exists. In the in the epilogue for uh Rebels, which we see recreated in this trailer, Jason Sandula, <laughs> like Hera and Kanan's kid is is a thing. There's been no mention of him. Hera's popped up a few times. She was in the video game. She was in Star Wars Squadrons. She's been in a couple How many... of books. He if we're be... in the if we're in the timeline of Rebels and in Mandalorian, how old would Jason be? So we're going five. No, two two years after Rebels was A New Hope. Yeah, I think. So two. So yeah, two, one and a half, two, whatever. Um, then 
we're going five years after Jedi, which was four years after A New Hope. So we're going like nine. He should be like nine, ten, eleven. Okay. He should be like. I think a, we'll see him. I, I hope so. At least get. I mean, I'm assuming we will. If we don't if see him, Dave's run. Dave knows what's going on. So Dave knows what's going. On. Fuck! Oh shit! Unless she's with Luke, or or he's with Luke, because Kanem. So he might be force sensitive, and he's off training with Luke, and he just gets killed by Ben. Kylo killed Jason Sandula. Well, I don't know. Who knows? Or or he survived it. Grogu. He survived it, and then he's an adult, and he's in uh, the new Jedi Order with Rey. That and Ezra. And Ezra. Ezra's his master. <laughs> Who's, Who's oh, so I look. So people are thinking that's uh, what's his name from the Thrawn trilogy? Pelion. Pelion? Uh, yeah. It's not, well, according it's to not. according to the the if you read it if you watch this with subtitles, it says it's a character named Balin, I believe. Yeah, there, there are there there are character names for this guy and the the girl that we see in the next shot um they yeah. exist there's been some leaks there's been some not leaks so much but there's been some like news about who they are they they are not that is not that is not gillard gillard pelion can i just say something hit me i'm kind of excited about lightsabers and laser blasts yeah i i know i i say it a lot like i think I think after Mandalorian, where you only have the dark saber and you barely see it, and he's definitely the, not going to be and deflecting Andor, any lasers with that, and Andor that never showed a lightsaber. Great. I think I'm ready for a good old swashbuckling laser swords. Give me laser some sword laser versus swords. blasters. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Mm-hmm. I'm totally ready. Like when I saw this, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I'm ready for this again. Pop, pop. They're going to bit of force, like. And this shot, dude, this is the recreation dude. shot. Like that, <laughs> that is it. That is the epilogue. Lothal. That's Lothal. That is, um, that is uh, Ezra's tower that he lived in. So this, okay. And Sabine so is there. Sabine is there and she's got long hair. So she's been there, I'm assuming the whole time. She moved in. That is, that yeah. is like Lothal city. Like that's what they liberated in Rebels. It looks so good. I love it. It looks I love so it. good. And I know it's probably computer generated, which okay. the show was too. Yeah. But it looks like a real place and I yeah. love it. So this is makes so, me so seeing happy. this shot and having it freeze framed, because I've watched this trailer a couple of times, but I've not freeze framed the way through it because I knew we were going to be doing that tonight. Yeah. Um, but seeing it here, it's like, okay, cool. So that shot that we saw, the, what we saw in the animated series was the animated series. It was this shot, but you're changing things. You're going to have. Sabine can have long hair. Changing someone's hair doesn't fucking matter, people. Like, or are people cool. mad? I don't know. I, but I'm just okay. assuming because they're Star Wars fans. Um, Quote but like, hmm. um, but those are X-wings. The, the the X-wings guiding in the Republic New Republic shuttle, and that is what is carrying, like, the White Wizard Ahsoka. Yeah, but we 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 saw what she looked like in the end of Rebels, but they're changing some bits and bobs. Like, it's it's fine. She's got long hair. Ahsoka's got shorter head tails because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The Inquisitor an anime- had a shorter forehead. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Live action to animated <laughs> is different sometimes. It's not people. one for one. Dooku doesn't have a crazy long face. D- Obi Wan doesn't have an angular beard. Like again. Even in, okay, so even in this book, you have different artists doing yes. different stories. It comic doesn't book, all have anyone who anyone who's ever read an X Men comic for more than two years knows that different artists have different interpretations. That is yeah. all this is is a different artist doing a different interpretation of the same yeah. scene. The, this is the same scene. All the beats yeah. are there. The two X Wings guiding in the Republic shuttle. They're there. Sabine is up in Ezra's house. Like yeah. it's. Oh, it's a one for one. It's a one for one. Oh my god! Look at the skyline, or look at the the clouds. It looks so good. Do you think we're gonna see a loath wolf? Uh, maybe. I love it. 
Where and are then this is this is Lothal. This is Lothal. this is yeah. in the city okay. in the city. This is the end of that shot when like at the end of Rebels, we see uh in the show, she walks out and she's got a big cane and she just sort of stomps it down as like bang. And Sabine is giving her monologue uh, in voiceover. It's like, but we won't give up looking for him. But this is the the way that they're actually presenting it as happening. That was a montage. This is the scene. Goddamn. Mm, so I need to rewatch Rebels. I need to rewatch Rebels. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it's a whole so watch. Good. Let's let's do it. Let's I do need to rewatch day, Rebels. Like... I'm gonna read this book. Yeah, that's that's a couple. You have of to August, which is kind of yeah, a bummer. Exactly. I'm fine with it. Right. I'm going to be away for a week in August. I really hope that I'm not missing an episode because I'm going to be at a festival um, and I won't be won't be in a state of mind too. But in fact, actually, the festival, I think, is like Thursday to Monday. So I might be all right. So we should be fine. Oh. Um, even I'm if assuming I, they're going to release Wednesdays. I think. I hope so. They better. Mm-hmm. If they're doing Wednesdays, we're fine. We should be good. Okay. It's been a while. <clears throat> Things have changed. Oh, her, 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 her things look longer. Mm-hmm. Right? Her. Mm-hmm. They look longer. Head tails. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that was, ev- that was everyone's great. complaints. She does look great. They both look great. Everyone fucking yeah, looks great. Look great. I'm so excited. Yeah. This is crazy. There's no big reveals. They're just there. Yes. And that's the best bit. In the it same way hard. that we saw, like, a week ago, we saw, um... What's his chops? Zeb. Zeb. We saw Zeb, and it was like a, he's just there. He exists. It's it's the Iron Man who, hey, it's me. Get over it. Moment. Like mm-hmm. I'm here. Cool. Let's go. Some people walking around in the background behind. Yeah. To the right of frame. I don't know who they are. While things have changed. What are these? New Republic. It's UFOs. They Ron? are. They're very rounded out. Yeah, exactly. Is it? Is it? They look new. We've not seen anything yeah. like this before. But there's the rounded off nature gives it a bit of a Moncal look to it. I guess maybe. Yeah. But they're new. Are they chiss? Uh-huh. Are they chiss? Are they chiss? Mm. They have towers in the back, similar to um, to Star Destroyers. Hmm. I don't know. They're cool looking. Mm. That's what I liked with last week's or a couple days ago. Mandalorian with the Mon Cal ship that looked out of Fifth Element. Like, let's start making the designs. Let's start straying away from Joe Johnston and Ralph McQuarrie and really start like embracing some of the weirder stuff like Doug Chang did. Yeah. Fucking love that Doug Chang stuff. There we go. Here's a shot. So, okay. This is, this is a weird one. So I don't care. Yeah. Because I love Genevieve O'Reilly. And she's fucking she's, great. She's she, amazing. She own, it's her character now. Like more than more than the original Mon Mothma. It's Genevieve right. O'Reilly's. Genevieve O'Reilly. So this is gonna be Mon the first Mothma. time we had an actor bookend a different actor. Usually it's an actor up and to a point. And then the new yeah. yeah and then, yeah. then then they stick with the, the legacy actor. Um so to oh, her oh, oh, oh. To her left on screen, screen right, um, the the dude with long hair, the Asian mm-hmm. dude with long hair, um, they someone has made note of who all of these people are and if they're known character names. That is the father of the um, lead character from Star Wars Resistance, that that oft forgotten animated series. Oh. Who I was... think I watched two episodes of that. It's a fun show it's fine there's like it's totally forgettable totally miss skippable but it's a fine show but his dad I, was a senator and this is that senator i just realized where they were on that's home the one? briefing room from that's home one Return of that the is Jedi. home one holy shit that is home one yeah yeah you could see yeah. the you could see the, bur- the the benches in the circle yeah 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 oh my god pash pash kraken is sat in the background first. They barely, they barely even aged her up. There's like, fuck it. We know it's a different actor. We don't care. She's, the, and yeah. I, mean, I love her and so she's much. she's the chancellor. She's the chancellor at this point. This isn't Senator Mon Mothma. This is Chancellor Mon Mothma. Yeah. She is the Supreme Chancellor. Spoilers. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm so excited. 
and they're just like we're not even going to age her to look older than the lady from from return of the jedi who's at celebration this weekend as well yeah oh that lady yeah oh cool yeah I like I, I I like that she's there because it shows that she's there's no bitterness. It's like cool, whatever. Yeah. Not my role anymore. Not my role. Right. Give it. To well, her. she was probably well. Maybe she changed her tune today when she she was like, oh, that's she's just playing young me. They'll use me for when they have an older person. I hope not. I hope she's cool with it. I don't know. I mean, I kind of when I saw this, I'm like, maybe they can stick Genevieve O'Reilly as do another special edition. <laughs> Talk to George. Get I'd her in. Fine with it. I'd be fine Get her with Return it. of the Jedi. I mean, it, it's it's one of my favorite things from Empire is putting in Ian McDiarmid. Like, yeah, 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 yeah totally. I, I'm fine with it. In the same way that I've come around and I don't mind Hayden at the end of Jedi. Like, oh, oh I'm yeah, all I think for, we discussed like, that. We've discussed it. I, I for a long, long time, I was like, no, Sebastian Shaw should have been there. Like, I it should have been him. But now I've come around and I'm like, nah, I'm He's fine such with a blip. He's been, he was a, on screen for like two minutes. It's tops. not that's that's not yeah the Anakin Skywalker that we know. Yeah, no, yeah. the Anakin Skywalker that we know is Hayden Christensen. Like, right, and it, so it being him, just fine. That's great. Good. <laughs> Darth Vader says blasphemy. We I, we discussed it on Sorry, our Return man. of the Jedi episode. We we it, we talked through it, um, and I think at this point with me with Star Wars, like. Fuck it, I don't care. Let's just I do whatever you want. Like I, I if... McClunky is the best change that they've ever made. I fucking love McClunky. <laughs> but also, I'm like, if I don't, I don't like the Jabba scene, so I just no. don't acknowledge it. Eh? Yeah. So I can either. It's it doesn't have it's a, to be. It's a redundant. Yeah, it's a redundant scene, so you can easily forget about it. Like. <laughs> I, I I'd say I've got this How full many, screen. I'm not uh, seeing. I've got I've got the trailer full screen, so I'm not seeing the comments. What's going on in the comments? Katana fleet. Yeah, Darth Arian, I I mentioned the Katana fleet earlier on, and I feel like the Katana fleet is going to be the Pergils, right? Like they're just going to make Pergils instead of ships. That it's just going to be Ezra calling in a bunch of Pergils. I mean, uh, all for it. Yeah, Andor comes close to. Andor comes pretty close to. Um, it sounds like to star wars so i mean she should be probably a little bit older than this but she she i mean and uh i've i've seen a cam i've seen a cam shaky cam like version of the trailer that they showed for and or season two um i've been trying to watch as many of those as possible and you see it and it's like everyone just ages like they just sort of change them just so that you've got a different look for every year because every three episodes we're getting it um Ed, Ed's Ed's here. Ed's here as yeah, well. Hey, hey, Ed, how's it going? He is late to the party. Um, how's it going? Yeah, I'm alright, mate. How are you? I'll see you on Sunday. Yeah. Um, oh, did it was the eyes? I was wondering who's asking because he was with you having margaritas. Like, no, 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 no. He's watching Lost for the first time. They're at season two. Uh, they've oh. just got past. Uh, um, the other 28 days has just happened. They've just done a couple of episodes past that. Um, but yeah, 40 great. Days. Other four, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've, I've been drinking. Um, <laughs> here, let's, let's move ahead a little bit. We're halfway go. through. All right, Thrawn. It's the boy. Okay, who is it? So, people were looking at the ears, <laughs> Fuck and they hell. think, no, 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 no. I, I don't, I don't want to bring it up, but they did a side by side of uh, <laughs> Lars Mickelson, who I believe yeah. did the voice, yeah, 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 yeah and. Yeah, yeah. And the ears kind of match up. It's Lars. If it, I've been saying it yeah. all along, he's been yeah. so, like, so, like, oh, I don't know. I'd love to do it, yeah. but no one's asked me. It's like, fuck off. It's you. Those, ears, it's those you. ears are pretty unique. He's, he's, um, he's definitely a Mickelson. That's, there's some Mickelson head right there. Um, and yeah, Mads is already taken. Um, <laughs> we got both brothers. Um, I love it. I can't wait. They're going to reveal him. They're going to have the whole cast. Because Mary Elizabeth Winstead, there's no way that Ewan McGregor is in London and Mary Elizabeth Winstead is not in London. She's going to be on stage tomorrow at the Ahsoka panel. They've shown the trailer now so that they can roll everyone out tomorrow. They've got the kid who's playing uh, Ezra, who we're going to see a little bit later in this trailer. You're going to have Sabine. You're going to have the reveal that here, everybody, here is Lars Mikkelsen as Grand Admiral right. Thrawn. They might not show him, 
Yep. Maybe they'll show concept art. I think they're going to save actually seeing his face in Mandalorian in the next couple weeks. I'm going to stay quiet. Um, all right. So what ship is that going where? Because that, the, the, the carrier. Looks like the Ahsoka one. That's what I thought. The carrier looks like one of those carriers that we saw from the front. And the the side of it looks like based on as well where the docks it's are. Bikini. Yeah, the ship does look like the ship that Ahsoka was on, and presumably Sabine's going to be leaving on. But is this them joining with the fleet, or is this them now going into Thrawn ship? Because if you look that... at the hangers, the hangers look like Imperial Death Star like they hangers. They do, but with that, the long that, lights on the side. That bridge that Thrawn was on does Doesn't not. Like does not look imperial. Oh, it's, is it even a bridge? I I assumed it was, but maybe not. About Thrawn's return. That does not look imperial to oh, me at all, though. No. But is it is it a Chiss fleet? Is it uh whatever it is? Is it some other completely different? Like, like it's something that we no don't idea. even know about. Is it? Is we're not. It I don't think we're going to know until closer to August. No, I hope we don't. I hope we don't. I don't want anything yeah. else other than this. I just want this trailer. Yeah. As heir to the Empire. Oh, name drop. Oh, this is the same thing. Uh, it's the same. They're Imperial That's droids, right? Oh, they look Imperial. They look like Death Star droids. But oh, yeah. the, no, the one on the right looks like them. Does but look this is now in, space. this is now in space. space, so it is a ship. It's the same room. So maybe so it's, it's one of those rounded, one of those rounded ships. Could be, could be. But who is this? Guy? It's not, not. Her. Oh, okay. So she, I want to say, can I get back there? She, I believe, is in this earlier shot. Is it the Jedi? That that Jedi? Well, that the no, that's a different, six. that's a different lady. No, I don't know her. That's not her. I don't know. As heir to the Empire. Name drop. So good. It's, it, That's for us. That's for yeah. notes. Yeah, totally. And is that the well between worlds? Is that the fucking world uh, between worlds? Well, Scott D mentioned it earlier today. Or earlier in the thing that the, the logo looks like world between worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely in the in the logo. But is this is this dude, this maybe fallen Jedi, not, not there. Pause it there. It's hard to say. It could be. It looks like they're being projected. I don't, man. I, I don't, but the, this, I really this don't equipment, care for worlds this, worlds. this equipment. equipment, this equipment that he's got. If it is, then it strikes me as it's like, uh, we want to figure out the tech that is powering the world between worlds. And it's it's almost like that the, the indie trailer where they're like, we can use this thing to go back and change things. It. No, you don't need to. The, the title is Dial of Destiny. I'm sure you can figure out right. what... Right. I watched. What I didn't is. watch the one that came out today. But Dial of Destiny, you get the idea yeah. of what that is. And I feel like The World Between Worlds is a similar sort of concept. Um, and it's if if they are essentially, they're like trying to plunder the tech and figure out what the fuck all of this is. My thought is this guy isn't Sith. He's a fallen Jedi of some sort who survived... Yeah, exactly. Or a left the order, maybe, but has some clearly some innate force abilities. Has taken Apprentice, the 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 young girl, um, and is maybe figured out the world between worlds, cracked into it through Lothal, through wherever else, because there's going to be different ways in, um, and is there and is trying to essentially like figure out how to operate the world between worlds to go back and change things to prevent Anakin. And that would be like almost the, yeah. I think it might be the A plot of, of the Ahsoka thing, but with the B plot heavily being Thrawn and Ezra and stuff. Yeah. Maybe this is the B plot. Maybe this is I'm just not, the first. I'm not a fan of world between worlds, but I'm not a fan of any time travel in Star Wars, but I think yeah. the world between worlds was done. It was done. Well, I don't, agree with it being a thing that should exist but i think they executed right. on it well um yeah we'll see and it does 
revolve around Ahsoka very heavily. The logo right. has definitely got it in there. She is definitely very tied to it. If so, if they're going to bring it back up, if they're going to do anything with it, she should be involved. She should be the protector of it. And if that's what right. her role is here and that's what she's doing, then great. All for it. <laughs> kind of has an orange look to it does it's not quite full red is it it's different right. and the way he's holding it's very like knightly it's very um yeah very obi-wan kenobi like yeah they have to prepare for the worst there Ooh, she is she there is good. general sendula yeah with some of the blue like lots of blue <laughs> with the new republic we're seeing yeah the blue squadron back and then it looks like uh um an officer crix maydean maydean yeah. Hey, Dean. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which we know is like the the military, like the the fleet, the fleet admirals, the fleet guys. But but General Sandula, General Hera Sandula, looking exactly with the same flight jacket and stuff that she had in uh, Star Wars Squadrons, the video game, the story mode of that. Where in that she is rolling with uh, General uh, Wedge Antilles as well at the same time. Just just saying, just saying. I mean. Give me wedge. He got he's he's be he'd be a little bit. I don't I, just, I don't care if it, now. yeah I don't care if it is and a a, a casting change. I don't I don't care about a recast. I don't care if he's even shown. I want a name drop of General Antilles. General Wedge Antilles. General Antilles will be enough for me in this right. show. In this show. Right. Right. All right. Luke can show up here. Luke's we've been, seen, Luke, yeah. Luke is going to be in the movie. Luke is going to be in Dave's movie, hundred percent. Um, I think did she end up with Kanan's. Uh, did she end up with Kanan's lightsaber? Who has Kanan's lightsaber? She must, right? Or did Ezra have it? I can't remember. Ezra might have I can't it. Can't remember either. Sabine can't might remember. have it. Sabine might have it. She's she's pretty handy with the sword. Yeah, she had the dark saber for a yeah, while. She's she training. Pretty, she was fucking badass with it. She was better than Ezra. Like, she kicked his ass. <laughs> like <laughs> Better than Ezra. Good one, dude. <laughs> Prepare for the worst. One lightsaber. Yeah, is that the... What are we looking at back there? Star it charts? Does, it does look... Mm, it does look like the world between worlds to me. Okay. I don't I, know. I mean... I mean, I, I'll give myself I saw, until August to get used to it. Alex, Alex and Molly, when they're in their live tweet, they were like, well, between worlds, question mark. And I was like, when I watched the trailer, I was like, I don't see it. I don't wear. But now I'm like, yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe. Mm. Or a planetarium of some sort. It's either the world between worlds or like a big planetarium. Right. I was trying to, yeah, I don't know. Love that, love this that kick, cool. kick that true. little kick off the wall that she does is very. It just feels like her sort of combat there. Bang, like, yeah. And the lighting off of the smoke, so this must oh, be in atmosphere. Mm. It doesn't need to be a she Star Wars. Like they a, fuck around with she shit. Looks like the opposite of Wednesday. She looks like Wednesday, but opposite of Wednesday is that like Saturday? I don't know. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Jedi Opposite Wednesday is Wednesday. Oh. That's a that's a New Republic cruiser of some sort. For sure. With, old, are... with old rebel helmets. But I think we've seen those guys like in uh Mando. In the New Republic fleet fleet troopers, didn't they all have those old helmets? So is this this character that we just saw with the blonde? That's the, the the younger one, the the girl, yeah. Looking at that lightsaber. Hmm. Long time ago. Oh, it's him. It's this oh. Guy. oh, I don't think it is. I don't know. Oh, maybe it is. They both got that similar orange. Oh, oh yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally, totally. Uh, there's Ezra, though. Oh, yeah. That's a boy. Yeah. Give me more of that classic. Oh, like little Kenner projections. Looking. Little, little toy projection. No legs. Tough to see. He's tough to see, but it looks just straight out of the out of the show. Totally. He's wearing the same outfit and everything. And that's Sabine. Sabine looking at him. So that could be an old thing. Oh. So that's probably her in his house. Yeah. <clears throat> She's drawing over his walls. There's a wo loath, uh, loath wolf behind her there on the wall. Yeah. Um, 
She she's just a little graffiti artist, so she's going to be scribbling all over his rules. She's probably listening to better from Ezra, or better than Ezra. Dockyard, oh. dockyard, scrapyard of some sort. It's a different guy. Oh yeah. Oh shit. That looks like an inquisitor. inquisitor. It looks like an inquisitor lightsaber that he had. They're both on their knees. They are. That's cool. Is they're Having doing just the same a couple thing. of frames of that? Bang. Yeah, it looks like an inquisitor. But the blade in the next frame. Double blade of lightsaber. Double blade. There, that oh, the the curve yeah. on it. That's an inquisitor blade for sure. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that looks like a, a male fighter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you think but I mean do you think we I don't remember what happened to to Sarah Michelle Geller's character? I'm assuming she died. If not I can't remember. Oh, that'd be nice though. Because like, then, that look like cause then we then there's the chance of getting a uh Kanan flashback Freddy with with Freddie Prince. I feel like we can get a force ghost Freddie Prince. I love I'm, it. I'm one hundred percent into it. Yeah, or or a or a recorded hologram projection of Freddie Prince. Like, just give me give me Freddie Prince as as Kanan. I'm I'm here for it because then they, then we've got the whole family. I I feel like don't like I mean, yeah, it's not Ashley Eckstein as Ahsoka, but I feel like those two are cool. Like they've they're doing a panel together this weekend with it being Ashley yeah. and um, yeah. Rosario. Like they they're cool. There's no bad blood. It's no. a different medium, but when you've got Freddie Prince Jr. right there doing the voice, and he's, it's Freddie he's, Prince, he's he's modelled after Freddie Prince Jr. Like he's a he's a he's a he's a actor that's been in film and movies and stuff. He's the not same way the that they actor. use the same way they use Katie Sackoff. Like it's she Katie Sackoff yeah. is is both Catan. Like you and, can have. And- Mickelson. And Mary Elizabeth Winstead is, you know, a different actor playing yeah. Hera, but yeah. Sabine different, Kanan, uh, uh, Ezra yeah. different. Like, like recasting when it's relevant to recast, fine. Using people when it it makes sense to, fine. Like there is no, yeah. it doesn't need to be a one for one all the time. Um, and Kanan, if he has any role in the show, which I'm assuming he would have to, I think it would be small enough. It's to have either going to be do. it's either going to be Force Ghost or holographic, like re- pre-recorded before death. Yeah, yeah, they're not bringing Kanan back. Yeah. But I, like, and it also, Freddie Prince just with the visor on or the mask, if it was a recorded, but thing, would he if have he's it? Dead, or if he's would a, he have it as ghost, a ghost, if he's a Force Ghost, no. But if it's a recording, maybe. Like that's that's how I see it. But that was oh, such man. a good look. That was such a good look. Blinding. Blinding Kanan was the best choice that show made. Just gave him it, so much more character. It's so good. Love it. Let's take a look at this person. Definitely a dude. Yeah. Junkyard. Junkyard, Star Destroyer in the background. The uh, the um, dish. The, the oh, thing are they the, back the on... And they're back on Corellia? They've seen a we've seen a bunch of junkyards. Baraka from the mm-hmm. video game, Coruscant, they've been decommissioning them. It's Corellia. We've seen a bunch of people decommissioning old Star Destroyers, but like the shield projector like dome has been stripped out there, we can see. Um, it hasn't not been built yet. Nah, that's that's a stripped down <laughs> job, not a not a build. Okay, those guys, I mean, I don't think Warrior, Outcast. Nah, 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 it's just those guys again, cutting them down. We know she's going to win that one. How many toes are on that statue? How many toes were on that statue? I don't see. <laughs> don't want to ruin anything. For in, in a Star Destroyer. Is it hangar? It looks like it. Looks it? Pretty close, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Smash out those windows. Bang. Well, not a Jedi, technically, yeah. but closest thing. At one point. Yeah, former Jedi. I mean, there are really aren't a lot of Jedi at this point anyway. Perhaps it is time to begin again. The... Who's, who's that dude? 
that was the dude who he trained uh, uh during the like the gathering when all the younglings were taking their crystals i think he was no. voiced in the animated series by david tennant if i remember rightly i don't know if he Does is here or like not. don't know didn't watch Doctor Who. The fact care. that the fact that he got spotlighted at the very end of the trailer. I think it's the same droid because he gets rebuilt and he was with Bow, Ahsoka. Time to begin again. It probably is. It probably is. I don't know. Um, definitely a world between the world logo. Go. I don't know who's doing the music for this show. No, it might have been announced. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm excited. I, I don't fucking, like that it's August. I'm fucking hyped. Yeah, so that's going to roll. And then we're getting Skeleton Crew this year, right? I'm pretty sure we're getting Skeleton Crew. Uh, this they year. said 2024. Did they? Yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah. okay, so we're getting Ahsoka later this year. We're getting Mando now, Ahsoka later this year. And then we're getting Skeleton Crew and uh, uh, the Acolyte next year. Yeah. Um, I'm fine with it. Bob Iger's pulled it all back and he's like quality over quantity. We don't need to churn them out quite so quick and so, quite so much. So I'm fine with that. If we get oh shit, we might get three shows next year and it would be um, Skeleton Crew, Acolyte and Andor because they've said Andor we're shooting for summer next year. Oh my God, I can't wait. That's fucking cool. But the thing with Andor also is you can bring in Hera and the ghost crew now you can yeah 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 because oh, they were fuck. in they were in rogue one well and the chopper and, was and, and they're there you bring in got the last, those those last three episodes so like when it's when it's tied in when the when like the rebels crew was tied into the 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 rebellion at large in the last yeah. year of the rebellion before jedi that'd be a night that those last three episodes they could just drop everyone because they're all there at that point Oh my god, I want to see the ghost. We're seeing the ghost, see dude. The ghost. We've seen the Phantom 2. See We're the, seeing the fucking ghost. But, like, it's see, happening. but just think about being able to see Ezra in the ghost cockpit with his feet up on the on the other chair and just like Zeb coming in and knocking her down and like I, just to see them again in live action, it's like it's because it, it, from this Love those everybody guys. looks right. Yes. Everybody looks right. Zeb looks right. We know that from Mandal. Like, it's gonna like, and if Floney's involved, they're all gonna act exactly how their character should act. Yeah, and interact and and like love, love or hate, criticize or praise Filoni for uh, whatever. If if you watch and enjoy his animated stuff, this is and the next season of Rebels is this Ahsoka show. Yeah. It really is. This is this is essentially it's Rebel Season Five. Yeah. It's just under a different name and in, in a different format. And so they are the characters are going wanna, to be the like, same characters. We saw Zeb. I just want to see Hera and Sabine mm. together. I just want to see them together. Just want to we only see them, we've only seen them individually. And are we gonna see they're... are we gonna see Callus? Are we gonna see Callus with Zeb? And or mm. with anyone, it, I want Callus to be in this show as well because he, by the end of it, was as much a part of that family as all the rest of them. Like now, now will the internet go fucking ape shit if they use the same voice actor and it's a person of color for Callus? Yeah, yeah. Because isn't it David Oelio? Yeah, he's a black dude. Yeah, yeah. Is is so? What do you do? So what do you do? So what is the internet goes ape shit? Either they're so stoked because they got the same actor, yeah, or be they go ape shit because. It's but a, that's it's that different. that then like no matter which way they go with it, you're pointing out the fuck you. It doesn't matter the right yeah. actor for the the right performer for the right role. It doesn't matter yeah. who they are if they've played them before if they're playing them again either way that they go you've got a big old fuck you to the toxic people <laughs> and i'm here for I mean, it <laughs> it's so like i i just i do like i'm just excited i'm excited I because love i love rebels i love rebels um and i love i can't wait for you to do another rewatch and let's let, I can't, see them yeah. coming together just to see them in live action like we're gonna get a photo i don't know maybe the ahsoka 
maybe the Ahsoka panel tomorrow, we get a production shot of the cockpit with all of them sitting in it. That would get me to August real, real easily get me to August. <laughs> that Those pictures are of like, of Lord and Miller in the cockpit with young millennium with long, young millennium Falcon. Yes. And young Lando and young and, and young everybody yeah. and Han Solo and stuff. Like I want that shot, but with all the members of the ghost in the, either, the cop, either the cockpit or the, like the, the ready room, like their, their, their function room sort of thing. Like that picture has to exist. 100% that picture oh, exists. Yeah. Yeah, 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 they've all done it. Definitely and if they it. show it tomorrow, that's better than any trailer. Yeah, I think tomorrow they're going to show some exclusive footage for the people in the room. Uh, they're going to get a scene, maybe a two scene, maybe they'll get a, a show of Thrawn or whatever. Like, but like that's the, what they need to release, like photo stills yeah. and stuff. Those Vanity released. Fair covers yeah. with like with Diego like and Poe Oscar and, and Ray and, yeah. and and all those guys sitting in the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon, like just to see because we only saw the phantom but to see the cockpit of the ghost in in live action and you know they could probably mess with the size of it and make it a little bit bigger they can craft it just have everyone having zeb standing in the doorway with his arm up and chopper in there and just like dude like i don't even care if it happens in the show force ghost canaan in there or he could be a hologram on the dash or put a picture of him well, somewhere. Like... You see the back of him, so it doesn't reveal that it's actually. Mm. But it, I listen. I'm setting myself up for disappointment, but I yeah. guarantee you, I guarantee you, all these actors were in the same place at some point, and Filoni's not going to be like, not get that picture. Yeah, he knows. You, you got to get that picture, even if he wants it just for himself. Like it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They got to show it. I got to see that look. picture. So you know that tomorrow. they've got the wall, you know that they've got um Sabine's like mural wall of the family like uh at the show. Yeah. Um yeah. I I I don't care I'm going to wait in line if I have to like I want a photo yeah. with with that wall like I cannot wait. Like it's it's so wild to me that like we're we are live action Star Wars but I'm more excited about rebels related stuff than almost anything else right. at this point. Like I, because it's new we've seen we've seen f- almost three seasons of mandalorian right. i mean i'm excited for for andor season two but that's a ways away i have and no also, idea andor what is such a special is. Thing. i have no idea what what skeleton crew is i think one is high republic and one yep. is first new, order no nah, new new republic era it's this era it's the same era okay. as mando and shit like yeah but 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 listen like uh, I like the, the ghost. I really the like the movies, crew of the ghost. The three movies that they announced, though, we're getting like, and it's exactly what you wanted. I saw this and I was like, fuck, they're just like, panda to Ralph much. Come on, chill. Like, yeah. we're getting 25,000 mm. years before. So that is a new era. We don't. Out of the timeline. Exactly. It's so Out far. It's so far before that it's brand new. And it, yeah. they can do whatever they want. They've got so much room to play with and do whatever they want. Great. Love it. They've got the future and they've got Ray and they've got everything right, right there. Like she kind of what I kind of want to happen. And I don't know if it'll happen. This is just me is um, this is yellow. But what if this opens up and it goes blue and then green as a double blade of light? Okay. So it's, if it's one, it's yellow. But if it's two, it's one and one. It splits the two crystals. Ooh. Because when you see it light up, it flashes bang, bang. blue and green and then goes yellow. But what if it goes the other way too? So she can use it like her staff fighting. She's been she's been a Jedi for 15 years. I'm sure she's made some tweaks. I'm sure her lightsaber is not still probably wrapped in bandages. I'm sure that she's made a new one. I'm Ooh, sure that yeah. she's sure she might have it's some cool ass shit. I think she's gonna have a a double at least. Maybe it does split in the middle, like her red Sithy one, like. Yeah, but I'd love it. I, I'm all for it. Let's let's go. Um, but yeah, in the future with Ray, who we love, and going moving forward, moving forward, I'm which happy. is what we want. Yeah. But then also the 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 panda movie, if you want to call it that, to cover and to wrap up all this stuff with, hey, look, kids, it's this guy that you know. It's this people that you know. It's these guys from this show that you know. It's Thrawn. Hey, everyone loves Thrawn. It's it's 
you said it to the empire wicked there you go it's it's doing all the <laughs> it's like it's doing all of that and it's it's great and i love that and i love that that exists it's i it was we're going to talk about it more on wednesday because we've got a whole episode of mando to talk about and the show will be over i'll have been there we'll have seen everything that's going to be seen and, and adam's going to join us so we'll adam's have all kinds of extra info and, we're going to have Adam on and I know that Adam is just like, this is the best time to be a Star Wars fan. And we, we yeah, made joking. I, I, I joked we, around about yeah, it. We joke around with it. And like, we, we, we do that all the time. That's, that's just who we are as people. Like, but like, he's not wrong. Like there is something yeah. for everyone at the moment. The books are fucking banging. Yeah. The comics are great. Like there's movies now, hopefully please fucking just make them, just make them. Um, they cater to me. Like, like I don't read any books, but I've read the Thrawn trilogy and I know Heir to the Empire. So Dave Flung is like, get that line in there. It doesn't matter if you don't know it. The people it that do know it are going to be fired up. It doesn't need to be a one for one adaption, but nope. having like clones and spot if they do spotty cylinders, but we're like, we've got Wayland in the Bad Batch. We've got enough shit from the Thrawn trilogy exists in this world. Dude, when like, Thrawn showed up in Rebels, I was ecstatic. I couldn't I, believe it. I was, I was ecstatic at the end of Rebels. I was in the room when they announced and when they showed off Thrawn. I was in the room. I was in that, that room that, at Celebration in 2016 when they showed off Thrawn for the first time. I was already going ecstatic because Wedge was in the trailer for Rebels that season. Yeah. And then at the end of it, Thrawn showed up and the room went nuts. And my... Now ex-wife was sat next to me on that side. My stepdad was sat next to me on that side. And they both turned to me and went, who? And I went, exactly. Oh. <laughs> like, I love it. That's what's so great. And is the, that Because the room went nuts. And it's like, that's great. And that's what you want. And yeah, we're getting it. Awesome. And like, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Um, dropping the Air to the Empire name is brilliant we're getting all of the stuff that they can do to the Thrawn trilogy as much or as little as they want, but they've said the words. We say the last command, call the movie, the last command. Fuck it. I don't care. Yeah. Like you're yeah. gonna, it, they, there won't be a romantic relationship like a, um, Luke and Mara, but I feel like Ahsoka is filling the Mara role. Mm -hmm. Potentially. Um, maybe it's this new character that's going to be in the Ahsoka show that the kid hell. Mara was a uh, hand of Palpatine. She was a, a, essentially an Inqui Inquisitor. There's Inquisitors yeah. by the looks of things in this. So, you know. Yeah. It's good. I can't wait. Dude. I can't wait. Star Wars is great. Yeah, so I fucking love Star Wars. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else to say other than thanks for joining us, everybody. Yeah. This was a ton of fun. And I haven't been fired up for a Star Wars trail in a long time because it's all, it's, it's old. Uh, familiar stuff and new stuff like i mean this is this is not only like just because rebels was probably like oh, almost 10 years ago yeah. um but but to reach back into 1991 ralph little boy went by the name of denny went in downey california oh. went to a crown books with his mom grabbed a book and said this is star wars can i get it and um she said yes because you know what you're reading 10 year old 10 year old ralph didn't read books. Yeah, that was yeah. That's how they get us, isn't it? It's they they just they got us. They and, and I never stopped. That's I just was, I, well, I started reading. Was I started about... reading Star Wars books, and I just never fucking stopped. They're they're literally like you look at my reading catalog of things that I've read, and ninety percent of it is Star Wars. <laughs> it's fucking for me. Ridiculous. For me, it was if I can I get through books. three books. If I can yeah. get through three books about Star Wars, then I'm 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 good. I'm good. Yeah. But then all the other ones came up. I can't. I was good with the three books. Because George Lucas said that was episode seven, like, eight, nine. They, episode... Were, they yep. were they they were our seven, eight, and nine for for all yeah. of us at that time. Like, and it's one of those things where I know that canon has been blown up since Disney purchased it, but um, it is nice that they could still pull from from old legends and bring it back into the fold. I mean, shit, Thrawn right, is like the biggest piece, right? That that book there mm -hmm. is the first canon Thrawn book. That yeah. after they announced that Thrawn the is in that, really... they the... then they said, "Hey, and also Timothy Zahn is coming back. He's going to yeah. do a Thrawn book." And like 
He's now done six canon throne books. Like they love they love that Zan owns that character and he is like totally involved. Whether he's involved in any of this, it doesn't matter. He's done his story. He got to tell a Chiss ascendancy Dude. story in canon that is now going to be recognized whether they reference it or not. It is Disney canon. It's there. And it's that like nod to. And that's what I would love for the Rogue Squadron movie. If and when it happens, please fucking make it happen. Eventually give it to Bryce. I'd love Bryce to do that movie. Yeah. Um, and, and just... You don't need to have Michael Stackpole come back and write the thing, but just like some nods to some characters that he created back then. We've had shit. Um, <laughs> like Corrin, Corrin Horn was in Obi Wan Kenobi for Christ's sake, like as the little kid yeah. who is getting smuggled away. Like that's that's a that's a Stackpole creation. Uh, rest in peace, Aaron mm -hmm. Olsen, who did the Raid Squadron books. But like Stackpole's still around. Like some stuff like that. And it's just I still those... want I still want Rookie One to show up. I mean, yeah, we love we Bring love Ricky One back into the fold. Yeah, and uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, he, he, any of that ninety shit. We know any of that we know through Instagram that he would love to come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, fuck, dude. Like, I'm so stoked. I'm so Let, stoked on this. We probably probably won't do one of these tomorrow, but if I mean something big has to happen. If, if, if something big happens, we'll be back. Maybe. Maybe. We'll be back potentially tomorrow. So keep an eye on the socials. Keep an eye on uh, Live Action SW on Twitter and Instagram. They're the best two places to catch us. Um, follow me at Jay Hewlett all weekend because I'm going to be tweeting out everything. I know the Wi Fi is pretty spiky at the XL and in London at the moment, but like I'll be tweeting out as much as I can. I won't be relying on Wi-Fi like a lot of the guys from the States are because obviously they're going to get charged out of the nose. I'm in the UK, so I won't be, so I can just use data. Um, I, I'll i be doing stuff. I'm going to be filming things, but I might just do some like short little videos on Twitter. So follow me personally. I'll try and do it from the live action Star Wars account, but if do I it. do it from my own personal do account, you from the account, whatever. Do the, um, do the live action SW account. I'm, I'm I mean, that's that. that's just if I remember or if I'm just pressing buttons and just going record go. Yeah. Um, if 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 it goes from mine, it goes from mine. I'll retweet it from the live action one. Um, we'll figure it all out. Um, follow all of us. We're we're doing all the things. Tell uh tell Pete, Alex, Patrick, and Rick. I said hi and Erica, Rick's and wife. I'm assuming is there as well. Everyone, um, uh, everyone's gonna be there. Like I'm, I'm. Ugh. I've got so many people to see on Sunday. I'm already tired. Um, yeah. But speaking of which, yeah, it's past your birthday. Yeah, it's not my birthday anymore. Get no. over it, get over it, James. You're well, you're well into 36 now. <laughs> All right. Um, again, thank you everybody for joining us. Stick yeah, around on the uh, on Twitter, um, and then we'll see if we're back. I have, I have to do. I have to do something for the movie tomorrow and I got to go see, I think I'm seeing Dungeons and Dragons or oh, Air sick. or, or oh, something. I'm tomorrow. excited for both those films. I know. I don't know which one we're going to see, but... Uh, I saw Super see Mario one, Brothers sure. last night. It was great. Cool. I Yeah, I think of the... Like, those are three movies I want to see. Of the three of them, like, Mario's the one I want to see the least, but... I, I mean, I, I, I was... I was fine with seeing it or not, but Liz grew up playing those games more than I did. I was a Sega kid. She was a Nintendo girl. Um, but like literally the whole time that we saw it, every time I turned to look at her, her face was like, with joy. <laughs> and that gave me so much joy. And it was like, that's, that's great. Perfect. Like that's all I wanted from that movie. It was, it was really fun. Um, we might do one tomorrow. Maybe. We'll see what happens. We'll see, but like, don't uh, don't the count. Timing it. of it's going to be weird. Timing of it be weird if we do. Probably won't. We might. Who knows? Um, yeah, I'd have to do it. I think I'd we, have to do it early in the morning because I have not, a thing we, to do yeah. at ten in the morning. Oh so, wow! Yeah, we'll yeah. see. We might. Um, we're not going to do it Sunday. We're not going to do it Monday. We will definitely be back on Wednesday. We're going to go probably quite long on Wednesday. I think we're starting at our regular time. Yeah. Cool. We're going to start at a regular time, um, but we will. I don't have work. We can just go for as long as we want. Adam's going to be with us. 
we're going to chat about all of this stuff again, I'm sure. <laughs> right. So come back on Wednesday. Come back on Wednesday. All right. Thanks, everybody, in the chat for joining us. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday, if not sooner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't yeah. give it to hate. Celebrate the love. Punch it. Oh.